It is time for the Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer. Today we get an update from Midwest Dairy and Vice President of Dairy Experience Marketing joins us today. She is Air Garcia Silva. Air, thanks for visiting with us here today. We're going to talk a little bit about how the uh, dairy checkoff is especially uh, investing in STEM, science, technology, uh, engineering, mathematics, and and what's going on with uh, how you connect that with what's going on in schools. So first of all, tell me about that uh, connection. Now, what is the connection between STEM and the dairy checkoff? Yeah, thanks, Chad. Thanks for having me today. You know, there's so much going on in the world of STEM, but really what we are doing is we are trying to reach, there's 29 million young students entering U.S. high schools this decade, and all of them are required to take a life science course like biology or ecology. So we see a huge opportunity here to reach 100% of our future consumers. And when you take a look at those 29 million young students, there's kind of a gap because only about 9% of them have any connection to food and agriculture, either coming from a farm background or being involved with programs like 4-H or FFA. So it's just really a big opportunity for dairy to lean into this space. You know, there's really three big ways that the science education community has kind of made a shift and a pivot, and these are also big wins for dairy. So first, you know, they want careful consumers of scientific and technical information, and I think we all want that as well, right? In this world of misinformation and information out there, we want to help students really be able to digest digest what is and is not true when it comes to where their food comes from and how it's made. You know, the, uh, the other thing that we really need is students to be able to participate in public discussions on science-related issues. So these are our future leaders. And we want them to understand why we do the things that we do within dairy to really help them help us to maintain our freedom to operate. The third thing that the scientific community really wants is students to be equipped for careers of their choice. And, you know, we within dairy want to increase our future workforce as well. You know, last year we brought some science educators to AgriPure's Food Research Center in Minnesota, and they were blown away as food science as a career and eager and excited to bring that back to their classrooms. So these are just three of the many areas that we've been, you know, learning more about STEM education and really trying to figure out how we can bring food and agriculture into science classrooms. Air, you said before that part of this is is learning and building those relationships and, and kind of finding out what everybody's doing. I understand there was an opportunity to do that here uh, with NSTA recently. Tell us, what, who is that group? What do they do? Uh, tell me about uh, that uh, that interaction recently. Yeah, yeah. Just this past week, there was the National Science Teachers Association annual meeting and it was in Kansas City and several of Midwest Dairy staff was able to go and really be able to network and meet with thousands of science teachers, administrators, curriculum developers from all across the nation but more specifically from our 10 state area especially because it was housed there right there in Kansas City. So we were able to, there was like 300 workshops and learning opportunities for us to pick and choose from. Um, it was kind of a lot to be able to filter through over the course of a couple of days. But really, it was really interesting to hear the struggles that these teachers are having with implementing this new way of teaching science and figuring out ways that we can come alongside and support them through partnerships and relationship building and really making that great progress of some really exciting things to come in 2024. Uh, I know we're just getting started with this, uh, the way it sounds, but how do you track this? How do you, uh, how, how, what's, what's the path moving forward? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I can tell you there are many paths, but in a simplistic way, we're really going to be taking a look at the number of educational scientific thought leaders that we are working with, those that have the ability to influence others. We're also going to be taking a look at the number of 
of students that we are able to reach through those thought leaders. And then we're also setting up a whole separate way of evaluation to see if the materials and the resources that we're developing and providing are meeting that need and are, and are changing the hearts and minds of students that they really do understand where their food comes from and has a greater trust in in dairy farmers and our sustainability practices, our animal care practices, and providing this awesome ingredient that we can use to nourish our bodies. Very good. Thank you so much for the time and telling us about it. Again, uh, Air Garcia Silva, Vice President of Dairy Experience Marketing with Midwest Dairy, and joins us on this update. Again, telling us a little bit how Midwest Dairy is investing in the STEM area, specifically with science teachers, uh, not only here in Nebraska, but uh, across the United States. That is today's Nebraska Dairy Update. Chad Moyer reporting.